Good morning, everybody. Patty Ann here. How you doing? Hey, today I've got something really exciting to show you. At least I think it's really exciting. So look at this big old M, and you may be wondering, well, why in the world did I do an M? And I was wondering the same thing at first, but if you check down here, go to my computer, I was looking to try to help somebody with a t-shirt, and I actually came upon this one and I, I thought it looked really cool and then I saw what the heck this t-shirt's $240 okay I don't know what Moschino means it must mean something that I don't know because that's a lot of ka-ching but a bing for a t-shirt right but I thought to myself you know I could probably make something like that so let's see I think I can zoom in there we go. I don't know how far. Whoops. All right, so look, they're just regular letters and they just have really cool designs in them. So that's when I decided, hey, I'll try making an M <laughs> just for the heck of it. So here's my M again. And it's a print then cut. And I made it really big, I'm not sure why, because I used an awful lot of my ink. But, you know, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna show you today how I did this. All right, so let's go back again. Well, let's go back again to my computer. So what I did was, I don't know if y'all are familiar with a fellow named Cave Fawcett. He designs really crazy, wild, beautiful colors of fabric. <clears throat> so I did a Google search for him. And while I was searching, I came upon this Pinterest page. Now on this page, these are all little snippets of Cave Fawcett, um, some of his fabrics. And I see some in here that would be absolutely beautiful to use in text. So just to show you how to do it, I think I'll just choose, what shall I choose? Oh, so many decisions. Okay, that one's really bright and cheery. So I'm gonna click on it and then when I go like this, it kind of gets dark, but that's okay. Now I'm going to right click on it and say, save image as. Now I'm using a Windows machine, so yours may be a little bit different and I'm using Chrome, but it should be fairly similar. So I'm gonna save the image as, and I've actually in my downloads folder already made a folder called Cave Patterns. So I'm putting them all in here notice it comes uh, in with this big old long number name I just get rid of that and I'm calling this one so so far I've done CAFE 1 2 and this will be 3 and then just hit save and now I'll come over to Cricut Design Space now in Cricut Design Space I've already put the word love in here you'll notice I use the um, Cricut font called Street Sign. Street Sign. I like it because it's layered. So in other words, I can show this layer. So I could have an outline around the letters if I wanted to, and I kind of like it with a black outline around it. Although I guess it just depends on what kind of a t-shirt I'm using. But anyway, I'll get rid of that for right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ungroup these and I want to use patterns in here, but I want to use those new CAFE patterns. So I'm going to go to Upload. And this time, rather than uploading an image, I'm going to come over here to Upload a Pattern. And I'm going to Browse. And it's automatically going to go to the folder because I've been doing this. So there's number three. I'll click on that to highlight it and then come over here to open. And this uh, box comes up. I guess I would just call it contemporary. Uh, I can't see if there's anything else I'd want to do here, but I mostly put the colors are purple and there's some brighter pink. Maybe I should hit this one because it's lots of different colors. And yellow red 
these colors are all in there but so you would choose whatever you'd want and I'll go to save and it doesn't show up here in my images because it's not an image it's a pattern I don't think that I uploaded the other one yet number two so just to do this again I'm going to go to upload upload a pattern browse go to that same folder where I'm saving these say cave number two I don't think I selected this one yet and contemporary I guess all different colors mostly sort of a brownish orangey I don't know you know you can choose whatever you want to and then say save all right so how do I use this I'm going to go back to my canvas by clicking up here and right now my text is all grouped together what I'm going to do and what they did on that machino or hover what was pronounced let's look again at it let's see it was here yeah so if I go out you'll notice that it's just a little tiny bit um, arced so I'm going to come to Cricut Design Space and before I ungroup to letters I am going to arc it, arch it, or curve it a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Maybe like that. You can hardly even tell, but it's done. So I'm going to click on this again, and I'm going to come up here to ungroup, or I can go here to advanced and ungroup to letters. Either one, they're the same. All right, so now, let's see. You know what? I should have had that highlighted. Look at that at the same time. Do you notice this? What's happened? So I'm going to hit the undo button and undo so they're all together again and undo so it's straight. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve this and I'm going to remember the number or I don't even need to remember. I'm going to highlight it, copy it. Okay, that's for the, the blue layer. And now for this layer, I'm going to curve it and I'm going to paste in that same amount. If I can, let's see. This layer, curve it, paste. And now they're both curved exactly the same. And now I can highlight this yellow layer again and I can ungroup these because these are the ones I'm going to fill in. And let's see, I'm going to make the first one. I'm going to come up here where it says fill, no fill. I'm going to make it print and it thinks it's supposed to print this color and then cut it, but I don't want it to print a color. I want it to print a pattern. Now the most recent patterns that I've added will be up here at the top. So I'm going to click on one of them and it's going to fill in the L and of course I can come down here if I want to and edit the pattern. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good to me. I'll just leave it like that. Click off. Okay, that's pretty. Now let's see if I was to go and let this L what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to black. That's good. All right. So now I've already done the L, so I'm ready to do the O now. So I'm going to click on the green part of the O and notice it's highlighted over here in the layers panel. I'm going to come up here to where it says line type cut, fill, no fill. I'm going to have it fill it with a print. Print then cut it's going to be. But I don't want it to print then cut this color. I want it to do a pattern. So I'm going to come over here, click on this down arrow, and click on the word pattern. And now if I want another one of my CAFE faucet fabrics to show, I'll just click on it. 
and I can't see. Oh, I love that. That's really pretty. All right. So now do the word V or the letter V. So again, I'm going to go up here to where it says no fill. Right now, notice it's a cut file. I'm going to come up here to fill and I'm going to come up to print and look what happens to it. It turns it automatically into a print and cut file. But I don't want it to print this solid tealy color. I want it to print a pattern. So I'm going to click on this and the print type I want is not a color but it is a pattern and I'll do my third there it is third one now I want one more final one so how did I do that again well I happen to be in Pinterest you could be anywhere and you know looking for cave faucet if that's what you like and just look for any pattern that you like all right, I'll just try this one and I'll go save image as, and this will be CAFE because that's how I've been naming them. Number four, hit enter on my keyboard. So once again, I'll come back up to Cricut Design Space. I'll go to upload, upload a pattern, browse, there it is, open. And I'll just say it's multicolor and it's kind of green and kind of yellow. Save. Okay, I'm going to go back to my canvas. It does say the pattern was uploaded successfully. Here we go. Canvas. I'm on my last one, so I'm going to click on the letter E. I'm going to go to um, oh up here to fill no fill remember right now it's a cut file as soon as I tell it's fill I want it to be a print it's going to change into a print and cut and as I said it's going to do this tealy color but that's not what I want so I want to click on this to tell it what I do want it to print I don't want it to print a color I want it to print a pattern and the pattern I want it to print is this last one I just did. And that's pretty good. But I think I'll edit it. And... Okay, I'm going to make it really large. Notice there's some lines that show up in this <clears throat> because it wasn't a very big file. So if I make it larger like this, um, you know, that line doesn't show up. See, there's the line. Okay. All right. I think that is super adorable. So let's just see what might this look like on a shirt. I'll come down here to my favorite shirts. And I'll make it a ladies. Large. And I think I'll change the color of it to black. So I come up here, change it to black. And now I can grab all these together and make them larger. Bring it down. And honestly, I wouldn't need the back, the back of all those letters to be there. So I could get rid of the black part of each letter. And I'd probably want to change the spacing of these a bit. So I can do that now. If I had already changed the spacing, it would be better because, well, no, because I'm going to do each one of these letters individually because they are going to be on this product. I'm going to do the print and cut. Each letter will be individual and they'll be on this product, Joe Lee's. I have mistakenly called it a vinyl because to me it seems vinyl-y because it's, people say it's paper, but it it's not really paper because it's, it's a little bit stretchy when it's off of this. But I guess it's not really vinyl either. I'm not sure. 
But anyway, here you can see what it's like right here a little bit. So watch, I can stretch this stuff and that's why I have a hard time calling this paper because I can't stretch paper. Like look at that, how I can stretch this stuff. You see that? I can stretch it. So that's why I have a hard time calling it paper and it doesn't really feel like paper. It feels more like vinyl to me, but you know, we don't need to argue over what to call it. <laughs> it's just Joe Lee's, uh, the stuff for the dark fabrics. That's the one I like to use. So I'll go ahead and make these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the word love because I'm not sure I want to use that, but okay. So here's the word love. I don't know. I don't really know that I'd want that on a t-shirt. I have a pretty purple t-shirt I could be putting something on. I'll think about it and I'll be back. Okay, you can see that I've already weeded, kind of weeded I would call it, the other letters. I'm just doing the last one now. This is not sticky. It's an iron-on material. So I said it's stretchy, so I just take it off of this and then I can just place it wherever I'd like to up here. And I'm using this extra pad that comes in this set that I like um, to help line up my letters so that they're straight. I've drawn a line on mine here and a line on the one that I have inside of my shirt. Um, I am heating up my Easy Press and take this off now. Oh, and by the way, this is a shirt from the Goodwill since I just do a lot of these um, samples to show you guys stuff, I don't like to spend top dollar to get stuff to, or clothing to put these things on. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to move it over just a tiny bit. And I usually like my things about three fingers down, so I might just move everything up just a tiny bit. I could put my pad back in place, but I think it's pretty straight right here. Whoops, that one's not. Okay, so my Easy Press is heating up. And do you know what I forgot to do? Got to take these all back off because the first thing I need to do, especially since this is a used t-shirt and I've not washed it since, since I've brought it home, I'm going to heat this thing up to get rid of a lot of the moisture. Now I heard somebody say that they had trouble, or I read that somebody said they had trouble with this paper sticking to this. I've not had that issue yet, so I'm gonna try the paper again and hopefully it won't be an issue. I, I'm hoping that this is the paper that she used, the parchment paper, because it really shouldn't stick to anything. I'm gonna put this back in place. I'll put my first letter down so I know about where I want it to start, away from the neckline. So about there. Was that three fingers? Got three fingers below that neckline. Okay, so right about there. So I'm gonna line this up. Did you hear my machine beep? That means it's ready. Line this up, make sure that it's centered. Then I can start putting my letters on it, just bump them up to that. And I'll know they're straight. Okay, I like it like that, but I actually want this moved up a little bit just so it's a little higher, because I think that adds a little flair to it. And I'm gonna see if this is big enough to cover everything. And if it's not, then I'm going to get, well, it will work if I do it like that. All right, now let me double check on the directions that came with this. And it says, let's see, for ironing, on this side, see, I'm gonna do 30 seconds and see how it works. And I'll have to do this in parts since that's a little longer. And I'm giving it some good pressure. Okay. And now I'm going to get the flower. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
feels good. Now I'm going to turn it inside out. So I know my designs in this area, so I'll just do it here for 15 seconds and there for 15 seconds. Okay, there was 15. And here comes the other 15. Okay. That should do it. Let's check it out. I think it turned out really cute. Love the colors and the patterns. And I don't think it's that much unlike, see if I can get back to it real quickly. Hmm. I think it quit responding. But anyway, it's not that much unlike the shirt that I showed you in the very beginning. Feels great, looks cute. I'm happy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified of when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to help support the channel, join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash pattyann, and join for a, as low as a dollar a month, and you can join our challenges. So, thanks again. Bye-bye.